You know what I love about Chrome extensions? They have this little productivity hacks sitting quietly in your browser. Instead of you opening 10 different apps or jumping between websites, I can get the information right there where I am. For example, this is a Chrome extension that I built, which gives me information about my YouTube channel. And it's pretty cool because I want to know about my subscribers if I'm growing. I want to know about my views. And then it also gives me information about my latest videos and stuff like that. You could go very detailed in a Chrome extension as much as details you want, right? But the crazy part is Chrome extensions are just so easy to build. You don't need a massive setup or backend, just a bit of code, a good idea, and you can create something that people actually will use every day. So I thought, why not use Google AI Studio to create an app that makes it easy for anyone to create a Chrome extension without writing a single line of code. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build an app like this, where the end user can come in, provide the necessary API keys and the YouTube channel ID, and then click on this. And this is where you can verify the YouTube channel and then click on generate. And then Google AI Studio does the rest for you, right? So it is able to create the extension zip file. It also gives you very clear instructions. So you download this and then it asks you to go enable the developer mode and then upload this extension, right? This is exactly what you need. So now if you provide this app to an end user, they just have to provide the API. That is something that they will own. And then they have a Chrome extension running on their browser just like that. So that is the idea. This video is going to be fun. Please stay tuned and I'll take you through the process of building this. All right, so for that, we will come into Google AI Studio and I have done a few videos on the overall Google AI Studio, so I'm happy to share the link as we go along. But once you're in the Google AI Studio, you are greeted with these three cards on the home page. What we're going to focus here is the vibe coding side of Google AI Studio. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to describe this as the prompt, right? So the prompt is simple. Hey, can you build me a website? The idea is someone who doesn't know how to code can come to this website and put in their YouTube API key and the ID of YouTube specific channel, and the website will create a personalized Chrome browser extension for them right on the spot, right? And then you can describe the, how the main page should look like, it should be simple, it should just ask for the API keys, and then it should be also giving you the download instructions, because again, the expectation is the end user doesn't know enough about these things. And it should be absolutely functional. It should give you like the subscriber count, like here, we should be live, and then on the browser toolbar. And then when you click on that icon, then there should be like a pop-up that should come up. So you need to specify all of that, right? And I'll explain you why as we start with the building process. So when I click on this, it starts, goes ahead and starts the building process. And then it gives you very contextual recommendations. So you can see it is already starting to give you that. As so it's saying, give your users control over generated Chrome extension by allowing them to customize aspects like the icon. Like it's pretty cool. If you want to add that, you can just simply add this to the chat. And then once it is done developing it, it will give you that as well, right? So that's the idea. Now, what I want to do is I want to talk about the overall architecture of the Chrome extension. So generally speaking, a Chrome extension is a combination of a manifest file, a background, a JavaScript, and a content script, which will be an extension. So the manifest.json is really the blueprint, which tells Chrome on who, what, and where this extension is all about, right? It's nothing but it gives you a browser and understanding of what is the name, etc. So that when you're loading the extension from here, right, like you, you will be able to find that. So that is what the manifest is supposed to be doing. Then the background script is the critical one, right? Think of it as the central brain. It listens for the browser's event. So if you're clicking on this, then it needs to take an action. So when user clicked, new open tab. And this is the one where what is happening inside of the pop-up is something which you're describing in the content script, right? So that is the injector side of the house. So once you're done with this, like this is what happens. So the user clicks, clicks on the UI and then the UI creates the pop-up. The background script receives the message. Um, and then the background script tells the content script to change the page. And then it also saves the data if you need to, right? So that is how the overall thing works. And what you need to know is you don't have to create any of these things, but you just need to have an idea, right? The idea should be that, hey, like I need to have these four files, manifest, background, content script, and extension. And then once Google actually does finish developing this, we'll go into the code and see this for ourselves. But once you have an idea of this, right, you are able to create unlimited Chrome extensions because you exactly know which file needs to have that, right? So let's go into AI Studio to see if it has developed this. It looks like it has. So I'm going to add my API key and channel ID here. I've added my API key and channel ID, and you can see that it already is able to find. And then if I click on generate, it is it has already downloaded here, and it is also suggesting things that I can do, right? So what I can do is I can start like adding more things. I want to have more details with thumbnails. So once I get this, right, like it is able to 
make some changes to the pop-up and should be able to have that for you. So we'll give it a second and we'll come back to it. All right, it looks like it has made those changes. So just, I'm just going to give the channel ID and click on verify my channel. And there you go. So now I have all of these amazing, interesting details which are available and it is giving me an extension preview. And then if I need to, I can edit those details. And if I'm satisfied, I can just click on the generate extension button and then it will generate the extension for us. And that was it. So I just wanted to showcase how easy it is for us to now build Chrome extensions. And now you can build an app like this, which can allow you to build unlimited extensions, which can help you with your productivity or help your friends or family members with your productivity with using Google AI Studio. It's mind blowing how easy it was and how easy Google AI Studio makes it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section. If this video added value to you, please do hit that subscribe button. It helps me a lot. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one.